This is a very interesting video, a big problem that people have, which is speed tuning your nuker and how Shankers avoided, you know, fixed that scenario without having to go and sit there and put crazy speeds on his nuker. He has been playing the game for a year now. He spent a total of $150. He doesn't sit there and have 30, 40 champions that are not built, that are all legendaries. He doesn't sit there and have 10,000 energy over here. He sits here and he diversified his time between arena, clan boss, faction wars, dungeon times. He's done it all. Welcome back everybody. Thank you for tuning in on another new episode. Today we will be discussing one of my viewers' account. His name is Shankers. He's been in my Discord for quite a while. He is an absolutely exceptional player. I am here to discuss his achievements, his account, what he's been able to do in the time given that he's been able to do it in. So to start things off, let me give you a little bit of background on Shankers, okay? Uh, he has been playing the game for a year now. Um, this is his first gacha game. He spent a total of $150 in this game since he basically first started playing the game, which to me, $150 in 12 months of playtime is almost classified as a free-to-play player, to be honest with you. The accomplishments that he's been able to accomplish is absolutely mind-blowing. It just really goes back to the basics and the basic fundamentals of how you should play this game to maximize your return on investment on it. So let's get into the details because this is a very interesting video and I do want to highlight a big problem that people have, which is speed tuning your nuker and how Shankers avoided, you know, fixed that scenario without having to go and sit there and put crazy speeds on his nuker. So we're going to go into that detail. We're going to go into quite a few details here, what he's been able to accomplish, how his great haul looks, which to me, for somebody that spent $150 in one year, this is a great looking great haul. One thing that Shankers has done is instead of taking almost every single area all the way to 10 to moving on to the next, he's kind of shown love to the entire great hall me personally my opinion on this is it goes back to what murder said in one of his videos everybody always tells you to focus on accuracy focus on accuracy but here's the thing accuracy starts becoming an issue later on down the road you know when you have skull crusher and he's trying to do his counter attack inside of the clan boss and you're trying to put as little accuracy as possible on him and you have 10 out of a 10 accuracy in force guess what he's gonna land a debuff that you don't want him to land so it's little things like that like my trunda I wish I could remove my accuracy off of my Trunda and have this at zero out of 10. So this way I can land her double hits as many times as possible. So for the most part, if you're not really crazy about tuning and getting the most out of each and every champion, overall, there's a more of a benefit to increasing your accuracy than it is not being a benefit. But just wanted to kind of highlight those different scenarios where accuracy can actually become an issue. So with that in mind, crit damage will be my very next area that I would work on always. If, I, if I'm not going to max out my accuracy, I would definitely go with crit damage. I would also 100% go with defense right after and then HP and then I would go to resistance and then I would go to attack. I feel resistance should be the very last one to work on just because I feel like it does not really give you that much value until very much later in the game. So that's about the great haul. But overall, for almost a free to play player at 175 level great haul is absolutely fantastic. This is great work here. Now, to discuss his dungeon times, they may not be like this all the time, but I'm just not going to go and make this a 25 30 minute video. But a two minute time in Fire Knight is very, very, very good. Um, just to show you guys what he's using, this is the team that he's using for Fire Knight. Dragon, wow, that's really, really good. Is that consistent? Probably not. Maybe, I don't know, with this team it could possibly be. I'm not exactly sure. But this is also a very good team. As you can see, really two legendaries, one which is given to you. He's got Ethos, yeah. So he's got Ethos, but we'll get into Ethos and all that uh, a little bit later on. Spider, 15 seconds, this is possible. So what you really have to understand here is that when you play this game, you have to understand what money does for you when you spend in this game. It does two things when you spend money on this game. It fastens up your progress, so you go from 
playing it for an entire year to playing it for like three or four years because you're buying so much energy, you're buying so many different shards and things like that. So it increases your speed in getting to end game. That's one thing money does. And it also increases your variety of champions. So those are the two things. Obviously, we characterize energy into money spending as well. So that's what it really does. So if you want to play this game and barely spend any money, when you put enough time into it, you can achieve really, really extraordinary results. One of the biggest and most extraordinary results result that Shankers has done is he's finished in platinum already 10 different times when platinum is at its hardest, which is now. And that to me is really incredible. One of the things that he does is he uses like any trick he can to his disposal. For instance, his Arbiter right now is at 336 speed. He has this champion, uh, Sepultler. He uses this helmet when he pushes at the last day of reset, he puts this helmet on his Arbiter and that increases her speed to over 340. So he has the 340 Arbiter speed lead he uses his angar is like incredible for the simple fact that his ethos is not speed tuned as you can see his ethos is only 187 speed so there's no way that arbiter's 340 speed is going to speed tune with his ethos and his ethos is by the way is an immunity gear so is his angar and so is his madame so here's how he plays this team arbiter boosts no matter what if there's going to be a torment in there they're not going to freeze angar they're not going to freeze ethos and they're not going to freeze madame so no matter what they got boosted and now they're ready to go next. Angar is going to go next. He has 395 accuracy. He's going to provoke the entire team. He doesn't even have his provoke maxed out all the way to three turn cooldown, which doesn't really matter for arena because you want to kind of get rid of them as quickly as possible. So he has his Angar go. Then his Madame goes and strips with an incredible 464 accuracy in immunity gear. I mean, this just goes to show you that if you don't go to sleep every night full of energy, if you don't sit there and have a thousand energy and not touch it at all, and if you utilize it 24 seven, the kind of accomplishment you can really accomplish in this game. You know, he told me he spends a lot of his money on the battle pass was $25, a couple of energy packs here and there, nothing crazy. Here are the screenshots right here. So you can see that he finished 10 different times in platinum. I would never come here guys and blow smoke and feed you guys lies. The purpose of this video is to show you guys the possibilities of what can really happen if you're just determined and you're patient, if you don't want to spend money, because this is a year's worth of progress. So due to Angar being in here, that eliminates his ethos having to be 250 speed or 260 speed to go next so he can focus more on crit damage and crit rate and attack and his ethos the way it's built he's gonna nuke this is a very very well played account and a very smart player and to top it all off this is his first gacha game it just goes to show you that any of you guys can actually do this now let's talk about his faction wars we have a 54 star 57 star 60 star 46 39 63 60 22 39 there's about four chances of getting six star speed glyphs on a weekly basis that is incredible. Obviously, he needs to work on his skinwalkers. He needs to work on his demon spawn. This is the only area that I feel like he really needs to work on and his dwarf and his barbarian. Once he gets those areas over there, these factions much higher, his, his progression is going to be significantly increased because when you don't spend that much money or no money whatsoever on the game, it's hard for you to keep leveling champs, being able to dominate in each and every single faction. Because if you can see in one year's worth of progress, how many 60s does he have? He has basically two rows of 60 champions. It's just quite mind blowing at how much he's been able to do without really spending any money whatsoever. And here's his vault, which he has Vizier, which is awesome. I hope he uses him for clan boss. Let's actually see how he does in clan boss. I believe he told me he does 33 million a key. Look at that. He's almost in the two key category. He's not even using Vizier and he's almost at a two key category right here. This is incredible. Take advantage of Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. Get your team up and running as quickly as possible to be able to hit Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. They do give you the very, very best rewards in the game. So make sure you don't slip on your Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. But most importantly, what I wanted to get out of this is that this man right here, Shankers, plays this game in a very balanced way. He doesn't sit there and have 30, 40 champions that are not built, that are all legends. He doesn't sit there and have 10,000 energy over here. He sits here and he diversified his time between arena, clan boss, faction wars, dungeon times. He's done it all little by little by little in each and every single faction. This is exactly how you're going to progress the most. Don't focus just on arena. Don't focus just on clan boss. Focus on the entire game altogether and you're going to progress so much faster than you'll ever know. I wanted to showcase this account. I wanted to give Shankers major props for his progression and show everybody here that with 150 $50 total spent and a year playing this game, the possibilities are endless. And yes, you can finish in platinum consistently 
with spending such a low amount of money like this. I hope you guys got some great tips out of this video. I didn't want to make it too long. However, I did also want to give a huge shout out to Shankers and to Rat Nest Cluster. They have a total of 16 different clans and their first and main clan are looking for Ultra Nightmare clan boss hitters. So if you guys are interested, I will link his Discord down below inside the description. So that way you guys can go and check them out. They're a great group of clans. They're in my Discord. They're awesome people. So that's what you want. You guys want to surround yourself with a community that's going to help you. Shankers told me that Rat Nest Cluster definitely helped him increase his overall knowledge in the game and gave him a lot of tips. And I, I can't stress that more than ever to all of you. If you're in a clan that you really, really like because they're full of your real life friends or whatever your personal reason may be, my Discord is going to be down below. Shankers is very, very active inside my Discord. So hit him up with any questions you may have. He knows exactly how to get the most out of the game with spending almost nothing. This goes to show you that there are possibilities out there if you just open up your mind and give yourself a little time and patience. Patience is everything in this game. And this is a perfect example of somebody who has patience. Before I finish this, let me just show you a little proof for the pudding so that way he wouldn't have all these sets of gears. And remember, you throw away most of the bad ones unless you did finish in platinum. This man right here, he's a legend. He really is a legend. Very, very smart player. Come to my Discord, pick his brain. If you're looking for a new clan, join his clan. You are not going to regret it. Yep, fire away any questions down below, guys. This week is a very busy week for YouTube. I'm going to keep them rolling out, and I hope each and every single video, you guys learn something from it. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.